Most people agree that bed bugs are the stuff of nightmares. These parasites feed exclusively on blood and can multiply incredibly fast. A few years into the new millennium, after the widespread fear of Y2K had died down, it was a real bug problem that swept the nation. The resurgence of bed bugs. All around the country, we were known as the bed bug state. You know, New York City is not too far from us, and that's where the, the target point was. So it brought the bed bug problem pretty, pretty hard and heavy even to Rochester, Buffalo, and Syracuse. As bed bugs were becoming a pretty popular subject, people were having a hard time, one, identifying them, two, killing them. With bed bug infestations on the rise, it presented a golden opportunity for town and country to grow. But with very few resources available industry-wide, Caleb came across an interesting solution. I was watching a show, and um, I want to say one of the nightly news things about a, a guy that trains dogs to sniff bed bugs. And I was like, man, that is pretty cool. Caleb struck a deal with his parents to get them on board with buying one of these bed bug sniffing dogs, a Jack Russell Terrier named Tracker. Their support sent Caleb down a path to learn as much about bed bugs as possible, with the hope that their gamble would pay off. It was a huge risk. Being a small company, we didn't really have much disposable income. I think in any kind of business, you gotta kind of predict the future a little bit as best as you can. But this dog got us into opportunities that we would otherwise never have a chance to, and so literally blew my mind that it worked. It could actually find a hidden bed bug by that scent. That dog literally, like, taught us so much, where to look, how to look. Once you really started getting into it, the bed bugs leave all these other signs and evidence. You can find their feces, you can find their shed skins. And the other thing that stands out was their odor. We could walk into pretty much any apartment complex that we were doing, we would be like, there's definitely bed bugs here. It smells like, uh, I don't know, it has an interesting smell to it. Once they felt confident in locating and identifying bed bugs without the help of Tracker, it took a few trials and tribulations to dial in their skill set. Our world really opened up to other places that bed bugs can live because, you know, sometimes it's just like they're only on the couches and they're only on the mattresses and we find out that they're living on prosthetic body parts, they're living in wheelchairs. So we go and clean and wipe out bed bugs in their whole apartment and that person's still getting bit. Come to find out the wheelchairs are loaded with bed bugs and those people leave their apartment on their wheelchair and take them right out with them. You miss one thing, you miss one opportunity to find a bed bug and the whole problem never ends. After hours and hours of researching, countless inspections, and first-hand experiences, Caleb and the small town and country crew were able to hone their craft to essentially become bed bug detectives. But how did they get even better? And to what lengths would Caleb's dad, Matt Fabry, go to discover the best way to actually kill off bed bugs? Find out on the next episode of Around Town. I'm Matt Miller, and we'll see you at the next job. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all our other videos and to subscribe to get all of our content in your feed at Town and Country Pest Solutions.